Hey everybody, Jeremy here, and today I want to show you two new Dragon Ball Z characters that I have added to my collection. So we're going to start here with Gotenks. Again, this is from Ben Presto, and if you look through some of my videos, you'll see that I have quite a few Dragon Ball Z Ben Presto statues. I find them to be really great value for the money, and the paint and the sculpt is always excellent. This is one of the latest Master Stars pieces that Ben Presto came out with, and this is Gotenks in non-Super Saiyan form. Here's a look at the box here, in case you are curious. Um, it's a pretty neat looking box. It just has uh, Gotenks right there on the front front and on the sides as well. On the back there's a lot of uh, Japanese writing that I do not understand but they always come in some pretty uh, pretty nice boxes and this figure will go along very well with the rest of the Master Star statues. Now this guy is pretty awesome. Really well done. I love the purple and the black hair that Gotenks has here. Of course it is the fusion between Trunks and Goten. I'm a really big fan of the Super Saiyan Level 3 Gotenks as well. Ben Presto, to my knowledge, uh, they don't have a Master Star statue of that. But uh, if they ever do, I'm definitely going to get that as well. Now, this being a statue, it does not have any articulation at all. And it does come in a couple of different parts when you take it out of the box. Uh, most of it is already assembled. Uh, Gotenks' body is all put together. And the only thing that you have to do is pop the head on. But uh, just looking at this guy, once again, I think this is a really great job done by Ben Presto. Man, I got to tell you, the spikiness on the hair is really, really sharp. You can actually hurt somebody or hurt yourself with this. So while you're putting the head on, try not to mash your hand into the hair because you can actually hurt yourself by doing this. Uh, love the skin color. Love the shading that they put in the skin color. Add a little bit of a shadow effect to it as well. Add a little bit more depth to it. Love the abs that he has. Love the look that he has on his face. And he does a pretty good job of standing up by himself. However, he does come with a little stand that you can put on his feet. And here's what the stand looks like. It's a very simple plastic piece. You can see that it's hollowed out on the inside there. And all you really have to do is just attach this to his leg. It's not necessarily like a super snug fit. Uh, you got to work with it a little bit, but uh, it's just there so that if he ever decides to fall backwards, uh, this stand will support it. It will give it a little extra weight so that Gotenks does not fall over. Um, he seems to be doing a pretty good job of keeping his balance right now. Uh, but if you ever do need that, that stand is going to help you out definitely. Of all the Master Star statues that I have, the only one that has not been easy or one that has a problem standing up has been Vegito. He's always been a problem for me. But this is Gotenks. Got him on Amazon.com. He costs about $21, which I think is a fantastic price for a statue like this. And it scales well with the rest of the Master Stars line. So he is going to be shorter. Of course, he's going to be shorter than Vegeta, shorter than Vegito, shorter than Frieza because he's just a kid. So if you want to put all of these Master Star statues together, you'll see that they are in a pretty decent scale with each other. Now, the second figure that I want to show you is a very small figure, 2.8 inches, and this is of King Code. Let me just get a little bit closer for you. So this King Code figure is about 2.8 inches, and Van Presto sells a number of these as well. Uh, for the most part, I've been seeing a lot of members of Frieza's family and uh, Frieza transformations in this scale. And they usually cost a little bit more than you would expect for figures that are this small. This particular King Code costs about $14.99, which I think the standard retail price for figures of this series of this type is around that as well. But if you give it a little bit of time and you just look on Amazon, uh, you can usually find these figures cheaper, even sometimes as add-on items for about three, four, five bucks. Uh, but I got this guy because I think it looks so cool in his pose sitting on this throne with his head in his hands. It just looks really great. And there is a resin statue of King Code pretty much in this exact same pose. And it's very rare and it's extremely expensive on eBay. I'm talking like several hundred dollars, seven hundred dollars. Some people are asking for the statue of King Code. That's a resin statue, but it looks 
phenomenal. And it would be great if Ben Presto were to release a large version of King Cole just like this. I would be all over it. Maybe they did in the past. I'm not too sure. Uh, but this figure looks really great. I want to add him to my smaller collection of Dragon Ball Z figures that are around this size that I did get on Amazon as part of add-on items. And right now, only thing that I have is Dabura with a couple of Dragon Balls and I have Frieza in his final form. And this is King Code here. So as I continue to try to get more of these Dragon Ball figures, uh, I just might be adding on the smaller scale ones from Frieza's family just to, just to complement the purchase. But this guy looks absolutely great. He comes in a couple of pieces as well. His head is detached from the rest of his body. And uh, you also get this clear, just transparent red stand as well that you can set him on. It doesn't have any problem standing either way, but since you have the stand, you might as well put it on. It doesn't really take anything away from the figure. So yeah, guys, those are the two latest Dragon Ball Z figures that I have gotten, and they are from Ban Presto. Once again, they're doing fantastic things. What's next for me in the Ban Presto line? Well, I am eyeballing the dramatic showcase figures uh, that has Cell and Super Saiyan Gohan and Goku, that's also part of that same series, I believe, recently came out as well. So that's a series in which all three figures are meant to go together so that you can recreate a dramatic scene. In this case, this is when uh, Gohan was fighting Cell in, uh, in some of the final moments. Don't know when I'll get my hands on that, but that is something that I'm eyeballing. So uh, if and when I ever get that, you can be sure that I'm going to do a video on that. And if you want to see other videos just like that and others, be sure to subscribe to this channel. But until then, thank you so much for watching. And until next time, I'm Jeremy, and I will talk to you later.